Good morning guys, welcome back to Chris Aquariums. As I do every weekend, I try to do some work on the tanks and pick up the camera so I can show you around a little bit. Now, although there's a couple things happening in the 100 liter tank, what I want to do this weekend is take you through what is behind me here, which is the 40 liter goldfish tank. Those that have been with the channel for a while will remember that we got this tank as a free tank, second hand tank, which we did some work on and it has been and continues to be what it was always meant to be which is a low maintenance easy to keep tank with some easy to keep fish so let me take you through what makes it such a easy to keep and easy to maintain tank of course the first thing that we look at is the fish now we have two pearl scale goldfish in this tank this is a selectively bred strain of goldfish from japan which is bred to have a certain body type and of course they have scales that look like their pearls. Uh, these are of course not pearls but rather calcium deposits in the scales, a trait which has been selectively bred over many many years. The great thing about these fish and goldfish in general is that they are very easy to keep, they eat most things and of course you don't have to have a tropical tank, you don't have to have a heater, the water temperature can vary with the climate that you're in. From summer all the way to winter where the temperature drops very, very low, these guys are perfectly fine. Looking back on the channel, we've had both of these fish since they were very small. Uh, one of them since it was a baby. And I must say, looking back on the footage, these guys have really grown a lot in the time that we've kept them, which is about two years or so. So looking at them from when we first got them uh, as a tiny baby to the size that they are now and they're not finished yet they're still going to keep growing and keep looking more and more like a golf ball uh, this one has a particularly good body shape uh, this one very good coloring but they're not done growing yet and again we got them when they were very small and had them in this tank and i think sometime soon we might move them to a bigger tank and it is first thing in the morning, so it's also time for these guys to be fed. Of course, when you're keeping a easy maintenance tank, you also want something there that can help with the cleaning. And this is one of the two golden apple snails that we got a couple weeks ago. Uh, you'll see the video where we got them. We got one bright one and one darker. So we have two golden apple snails. The one is a bit brighter than the other. And I'm gonna take the brighter one to put into the 100 liter tank because I think it'll contrast well with the black background and the black substrate. Now, I didn't know this at the time, but this is actually not a golden apple snail. As you can see, he's quite a bit darker, um, but still the same species and does the same job. And he will go around eating algae off the glass and any detritus or additional material that's fallen to the bottom of the tank, just to help with the cleaning and maintenance so there's less for you to do. Speaking about cleaning, we also worry about the water quality. So this here, which you can see, is a live plant. It is jungle bell, Valisneria. And what this does is just a small plant to help with the filtration of the water, the oxygenation of the tank, and just to reduce the filtration needs. Then onto the filtration itself. This is just your typical SH300 filter, 
with activated carbon charcoal on the bottom and filter floss on the top. That gets your biological and your mechanical filtration needs and it's easy filtration for this tank. At the bottom of the tank we put large stone gravel and the reason being it's the easiest to clean. So when you're doing a gravel vac or a water change it's just the easiest to keep, maintain and to clean from your tank. And that's our 40 litre goldfish tank. Uh, it's been really cool to see this tank come from what it was, which is a you know, second hand derelict tank to what we made it into and what it's been for the last two years or so. And to see these fish grow from babies to the size that they are now. And like I said, they haven't stopped. They've still got some growing to do. So I hope you enjoyed. Uh, subscribe to the channel to carry on the journey and see what happens with my tanks. And I'll see you next time in Chris Aquariums.